In 1839, the Ulster Railway, the second ever railway in Ireland, opened the first terminus in Belfast. This was Victoria Street Station, later Great Victoria Street. The permanent station building was completed in 1848, at which stage the railway had reached Armagh. The Ulster Railway later merged with other railways when the route to Dublin was linked up to create the Great Northern Railway Ireland in 1876. 1848 was a busy year for the railways in Belfast, as well as the Great Victoria Street Station building opening. The Belfast and Ballymena Railway opened York Road Station in April and the Belfast and County Down Railway opened Belfast Station in August. The Belfast and Ballymena Railway extended to Larne, Antrim, Coleraine and Derry and became the Belfast and Northern Counties Railway. The Belfast and County Down Line at first went to Hollywood. In 1850, the Belfast and County Down Railway built another branch to Newtown Ards and a more permanent station, Queen's Quay. In 1860, a separate company was formed, the Belfast Hollywood and Bangor Railway, to extend the Hollywood Line to Bangor. This was completed in 1865 and Queen's Quay Station was split between the two companies. In 1876, the Belfast Central Railway opened to connect the Ulster and Belfast and County Down Railways. In 1878, their terminus, Queen's Bridge Station, opened. The Belfast Central Railway also linked the Belfast and Northern Counties Railway to the others, using a tunnel under the end of Queen's Bridge to link to the lines in the docks. However, this was only suitable for goods trains. The Belfast and County Down Railway absorbed the Belfast Hollywood and Bangor Railway in 1884 and Queen's Quay Station was merged back into a single station. The Belfast Central Railway later faced competition from trams and was taken over by the Great Northern Railway Ireland in 1885 and used only for goods. In 1903, the Belfast and Northern Counties Railway was bought out by the Midland Railway in England and it was operated by the Northern Counties Committee. In the 1923 railway grouping in Great Britain, the Northern Counties Committee was transferred, due to the grouping of the Midland, to the London Midland and Scottish Railway. In 1948, the Belfast and County Down Railway was merged with the Northern Ireland Road Transport Board to create the Ulster Transport Authority, UTA, due to their poor financial state. It then came as a surprise when the UTA closed the whole railway except for the Belfast to Bangor line in 1950, a situation that nationalisation was supposed to avoid. The Ulster Transport Authority then took control of most of the railways in Northern Ireland, most of which then closed. Queen's Bridge Station was demolished in 1960 by the UTA. The connection via the docks to York Street was closed in 1963. And the Belfast Central Railway Line was closed in 1965, also by the UTA, when the Middlepath Street Bridge was removed. This left the railways in Belfast disconnected once again. In 1967, the UTA was split up, with the railways going to Northern Ireland Railways, NIR. NIR was more in favour of the railways than the UTA was, and subsequently took steps to make the rail network better. NIR reopened the former Belfast Central Railway line in 1976. This allowed through running of trains, and so Belfast Central, a new station, replaced Great Victoria Street and Queen's Quay, which both closed. In 1992, York Road Station closed too and was replaced with a new station, York Gate. In 1994, the Dargan Bridge opened, linking the railway from York Gate Station across the Lagan to Belfast Central Station. At this point, all services terminated or passed through Belfast Central. Great Victoria Street opened again in 1995, further back the line from the original station which had been demolished as well as a new curve of track to allow trains from the north to terminate there. In 2018, Belfast Central Station was renamed Lanyon Place. In 2019, construction started on Belfast Grand Central Station, a combined bus and railway station. It is due to open in 2024 or 2025 and will replace Great Victoria Street, which will close. Grand Central will then be the only terminus for the city.